Hi, church family. Thank you for taking just a couple of minutes to listen as we share about this beautiful Holy Week that we're observing. I want to remind you that Wednesday night, will be gathered here in the worship center for our observance of the Lord's Supper. If you've been tracking along with us in our Bible reading, you'll notice that this week we're reading Exodus 12. It's the Passover, the first Passover in Egypt as God liberated his people from Egyptian bondage. And you'll remember that, that the Jewish people, God's people in the Old Testament, generation after generation would look back to that powerful saving event and they would observe the Passover every year. But you also know that that was looking forward to the ultimate Passover when Jesus would come and fulfill the Passover, giving his life, his broken body and his shed blood to save us from the bondage of sin. And so what we do as New Testament Christians, every time we come around the Lord's table, we are looking back. We are remembering the ultimate Passover that Jesus has shed his blood, that he gave his body to be broken for you and me. I hope you'll join us here Wednesday night at 6 p.m. for that special observance of the Lord's Supper. And then we look forward to Easter Sunday morning, uh, Resurrection Day, gathering back here at 10 o'clock for our celebration of Easter. Our choir is gonna bring us some beautiful music about what God has done, this Easter experience through music. And then we'll be gathered here to not just check a box, not just uh, pack the pew with so many Easter visitors, but we're here to celebrate a reality, the reality that Jesus' tomb is empty, the reality that he has conquered death, that he has crushed Satan's grip on us, and that we are alive because he is alive. So I hope you come with joy in your heart, ready to celebrate him. Let me just tell you a few ways you can help us. Uh, if you would be so inclined, some of you to uh, be a part of the overflow service in the chapel, that would be helpful to uh, seat our guests here in, in the worship center. And also in parking, if you could park in the west parking lot toward the square, that would free up the pecan orchard parking for our guests. So some ways to serve as you approach Easter. I'm looking forward to a great couple of services with you, church family, as we worship our risen Savior, Jesus. Thank you.